uh, you both have worked very closely with each other in the, in the assembly over the years. The question here is, after working closely together on, on legislation for our area and observing each other while in session, what would you consider your opponent's greatest strengths and weaknesses? Well, it was hard to observe Sam most of the time because she sat in the back of the room and I sat in the front. But there were two years when I sat in the back of the room and she sat in the front. So, But I think uh, Sam knows her community. She's involved in her community. But I don't think she always takes the best interest of the community at heart in making the decisions. See, she likes to follow party lines and unfortunately, that may make some people happy, but it doesn't make all the people happy. And, uh, you know, Sam's a good mom. She's in a great family. But I think she needs a little more flexibility out there in dealing with issues and working with other people. Um, I think I've had a broader background and real life experience as a farmer. I've been a farmer my whole life, 30 years as a dairy farmer. Raised corn and soybeans. I've been a municipal uh, trustee, a village president. I kind of know what happens when Madison does things, what it affects the taxpayer, the municipality, and what the end result of that is. I think a lot of legislators in Madison don't have that experience and can't really get a grasp on what they're doing and how it's going to affect their community. And unfortunately, Madison becomes kind of partisan. And we don't do a lot of working together, unfortunately. If I can go back to the days when the committees used to travel around the state, I was on transportation, the ag, tourism. You know, we used to sit down, have lunch together, discuss, go to one another's communities to have hearings, and actually get a feel of what things were around the state, and how we could work with our fellow legislators to make a difference. That's gone. They keep telling us we're broke. We can't afford to do these things. I don't think we can afford not to do these things, looking at what's happened to our state in the last few years. There's always money. Unfortunately, there's a lot of wasted money out there. And we can put those dollars to better use. Representative Kirkman. Thank you, what an interesting question. Um, greatest strength, I would have to say John, uh, willing to work across the aisle on a lot of issues, very bipartisan. Um, again, I sit on the Democratic side of the aisle right now, so, um, opportunity to talk to Representative Barker and Representative Seibri. One of his weaknesses, I would say, he focuses on Kenosha County. Um, I've had the pleasure of representing the same Kenosha and Walworth County and have had you know, an expanded area. And as he said that I know my communities very well, I think that, <coughs> that is a weakness of his. He's, he, over the years, I think he's focused primarily on Pleasant Prairie. And it's part of the district, but it's not the entire district. And um, so that's what I look forward to bringing in Madison. It's one of my greatest strengths is representing the entire C. Kenosha, Walworth County area. I still attend a lot of meetings in Walworth County, even though last session or for the last 10 years only represented the airplane strip that uh, Burlington had annexed into Walworth County, but they still invite me to meet. So I felt it was important to go and, and listen to other people that I might not represent, but I represent them because I represent the whole state of Wisconsin. Um, you know, it is challenging. I'm one of only 22% of women in, le in the legislature. There's even few of them who actually bring that perspective to Madison. A young woman who actually has children. I had no <coughs> boys while I, was, while I was in the legislature. I, I took off two weeks with the uh, second one and three weeks with the first one because I felt it was important to be in Madison to represent the people. Um, those are some of the things that I think are my greatest strengths is listening to the people that I represent the entire area. Thank you. Is a negative, I think it's positive. What we do in Pleasant Prairie affects our whole county. It affects all of southeastern Wisconsin. We do projects here that employ the industrial park. We've added jobs for 8,000 people in Kenosha County. That's the difference. They're not just Pleasant Prairie people. They're Kenosha County people. They're people that need jobs need to support their families, need benefits, need health care, and they get them through working together. I don't work just one spot. 
I work with the county, I work with the state, I work with COP, I work with business leaders, and I do that to make a difference. And we've made a difference. And when you see this tips retire in Pleasant Prairie, number two, that's gonna add $4.3 million to Kenosha County's coffers. And that's for everybody. That's tax relief. That provides funding for projects we need to do, services we need to provide. And it even affects the Central District and it affects the Bristol School District because of U-Line and crossing the interstate. And those are dollars that are gonna to go to the schools also when that tip retires. So what I do in Pleasant Prairie does make a difference. And it's not just for Pleasant Prairie, it's for our entire county. Thank you. Uh, no.